Here we have the rattlesnake. A little fun fact for the start. When scanning was initially released, most of the faction battleships at the time were destroyed within the first week. I did play a very big role at that. Now, the most destroyed ship that I've seen was the rattlesnake. Because these ships are mainly used for storyline missions, they are pretty good for that job. They have excellent uh, skills and excellent bonuses for drones, excellent bonuses on missiles, and this is the second most tankiest ship in the game. So it will be interesting to see what this ship can do. Now the numbers of the rattlesnakes are slowly going up. I did notice that on the market, and again, I have noticed the same in PvP. The ship's straw bonus will give you 450% more damage on large drones, plus 200% on large drone effective health, advanced large drone, uh, advanced large drone operation bonus per level will give you plus 12% large drone damage, plus 10 km drone control range. Now so far all of these uh, bonuses are mainly affecting large drones, uh, medium drones and small drones do not get any bonus on damage from the rattlesnake, which might be a problem against smaller ships like cruisers and frigates. And of course you get missile damage bonus on kinetic and thermal and you get plus 4% shield resistance per level, which makes this rattlesnake a very tanky ship. Now the ship has two drones, 5 high slots, 3 medium slots, 7 low slots, 3 combat and 3 engineering rigs. Decent capacitors. Overall, uh, this is mainly a shield tank. Don't try to armor tank a rattlesnake. Trust me, I've seen a lot of armor tank snakes. They did not live long. Like I mentioned before, capacitor is okay. Everything else on this ship is seeming to be on pair with the rest of the faction battleships. Now one thing though that I have to mention, the rattlesnake is kinda slow. Uh, with the afterburner I get around 500 meters per second, with the micro objective around 600, so it's not the fastest but not the slowest as well. Now on to the fit. I have, uh, this, this fit currently has 5 uh, large missile launchers. They have a little bit more DPS than the rapids, have decent range, decent damage, and generally good for uh, good to use at storyline missions, and they're good to be paired with sentry drones because sentry drones also have very long range and of course high DPS. Now, let me also show you uh, the rest of the current stats. I have like four adaptive fields just to you know get up the resistance. Th these are the base resistances on this ship. Pretty tanky, isn't it? The resistances did tell you that the rattlesnake has rigs to improve its resistance and I believe it should be quite tanky. In the engineering rigs I have uh, two capacitor control circuits and one, I think that's uh, one warp core optimizer. Although I really recommend if you're, if you're running storyline missions with rattlesnake at least three warp core optimizers because your defense against small ships is not going to be great even if you're using small drones they can hold you long enough for other ships to warp in the capacitor is nine minutes 666 seconds recharge time on the capacitor yeah this this rattlesnake straight out of hell i see now um I'll show you some other different builds. This is the build with rapid missiles. They also have... Now the rapid missile fit is more uh, to be used with the normal large drones. Don't use sentries because you will be moving around, orbiting. And sentries, well, uh, they can't move. So you should mostly keep, uh, keep the sentries around your ship. Now, you can also swap one adaptive into one reactive shield hardener. Depends, of course, that's situational, uh, but you can also do that. Very good against lasers. 
very good against weapon types that only have two damage types. And the rest of the ship you can also keep the same, uh, but overall uh, it should work quite well for both PvE and PvP. For PvP I would still stick with four adaptives, because that seemed to be uh, working the best so far. At least that's what I've been told. Now we can also swap that one uh, into dual batteries and dual boosters, or you can do this. Now this is uh, something that I just want to do for fun, uh, seven adaptives, just to see how much resistances can this get. I thought about, you know, using a damage control, but don't have one with me at the moment, so let's just see how seven adaptives work. Now don't use this fit, this will not work, it's a bad fit, I'm just, I'm just, you know, doing this for fun. Let's see the... Oh, well, uh, 88, 94, 92, and 88. You know, that's not bad. <laughs> that's actually pretty good. Although I believe with the damage control unit, I would have a little bit more resistance. This would be around 98% everything. Alright, now on to something uh, more, you know, useful. The one that you see with the four adaptives. Let's see. Let's see how much resistance does it have now. Well, uh, I'd say roughly the same. The DPS is, of course, normal. That did not change. Yep, the actually not much changed here. 87, 92, 93, 88. Interesting. So, I, I think I can even sacrifice one adaptive and the percentage would still be around the same. Very interesting. Still very tanky. And... The capacitor, no, it says it's 9 minutes and 38 seconds, although uh, I will test that out. I believe it should be cap stable because of the capacitor battery and because you're not taking a lot of damage to begin with. 481.90 meter per second after burner speed, which is again slow but not the slowest. The Balgorn is moving uh, 100 meter per second slower than the snake. Okay, well, let's see what this ship can do. Now, this ship is mainly used for missions and counters. Although, uh, I, I, I think I said this uh, for all faction melee ships that I did fly so far. Strikers, especially the Apocalypse Striker, is hands down the best ship for encounters, best ship for storyline missions, because they have very good DPS, they have very good range, and they clear everything very quickly. But if you like the rattlesnake, it can still do the job quite well. I remember seeing people uh, use this ship AFK with sentries, they warp 100 km from the mission, lock all targets and well, uh, just do something else while the ship and the sentries clear the field. Now I quite don't like the sentries, although I will test them out another time but I prefer to be moving around, I prefer an active tank, and I prefer rapid missiles. Not quite sure how well can sentries track small ships like destroyers, frigates, and things like that. If they can't track them, then it might be a problem if, uh, well, if a interceptor starts to tackle you while you are running a low sec mission or storyline mission. In my case, I haven't had a problem with that because I'm the one who is doing the tackling, I'm not the rattlesnake although the tables changed here, I'm now the, the one who's doing missions and overall, I have to say, I kinda like the snake but I believe that this ship is not quite made for me because it's kinda slow and you really need to use warp core optimizers or you need to be aligned. So there is a lot of options as well for the for the fit for this ship. You can even go full on DPS with the rattlesnake with the sentry drones. Or you can go a tank fit like I did. Also you can change that into something that's between. It depends. 
Okay, sorry for the weird cut was doing two things at once. So, uh, so far the rattlesnake does perform, I'd say, quite well. Now, this rattlesnake is a little bit uh, on the lower side of the DPS because I went with full tank. But you can actually sacrifice some of the tank for more DPS. And I believe I'll actually do that another time with this rattlesnake because it will take a while to clear a storyline mission. But I believe with sentries and with long range you can actually uh, clear them very, very quickly. Not sure what's the maximum possible range on sentry drones. I believe over a hundred kilometers without a problem. So sentries might be the good choice if you want to use the ship only for long range. Now the problem with sentries is they can't really track anything that's close. And that means, for example, an Ortus uh, can easily uh, shoot down a rattlesnake with sentry drones. I've done that before. Uh, frigates can easily tackle rattlesnakes, they can hold them until other ships uh, come in. So, in the end, you really need to uh, play the ship very carefully. Now, not quite sure uh, how how much this ship is liked now after scanning has been out uh, but I, did, I do see a lot of ships, I do see a lot of rattlesnakes still being used and overall uh, still one of the most popular faction battleship to be used for PvE now a PvP rattlesnake well I'm not quite sure how that will work because the rattlesnake doesn't have uh, any bonuses on small and medium drones and my Ortus for example can easily outrun and I can easily tank uh, rattlesnake large drones because they simply can't catch me they are just too slow so against a battleship I guess it will work but against anything that's below a battle cruiser the rattlesnake will have a problem especially a problem against interceptors because let's face it large drones will never catch a interceptor if it's moving like five kilometers per second it just will never be able to uh, catch it and the missiles will not do a lot of damage so uh, i believe that's the main issue with the rattlesnake it does not have any bonuses on drones below large drones and sentry drones it has control range bonus yeah but it doesn't have damage and ehp bonus on medium and small drones which means uh, you can use medium and small drones but they are not going to be that effective however that might be used against other ships and i believe you can chase away your average Orpus or your average Interceptor Pilot or Frigate Pilot. But if you're facing someone that's a little bit more experienced, that, that might be a problem. Uh, for example, I can tank a lot of fellowships. I can tank uh, the Vindi with my Orpus. I can tank the Rattlesnake. Uh, basically all uh, battleships that are using missiles are not a threat. Even the Typhoon 1 and 2 are not a threat to my Artus, but they still can shoot down other uh, other ships and other pallets that are less experienced in those in those cruisers or frigates in in this case so overall uh, I'd say the rattlesnake is not that easy to fly you really have to be you really have to know and you really have to uh, have very good skills in order to have the a rattlesnake up and running. Now that does not mean it's a bad ship, it's the second most tankiest battleship. It can take a lot of damage before it goes down. The problem with the rattlesnakes that I fought so far was that they were more focused on DPS. They usually had aura stabs and warp core optimizers. Uh, they did not have any tank. So most rattlesnake that I've seen so far did focus on having a good tank. Uh, did not focus on having a good tank. They focused on uh, having DPS and they focused on the ability to warp out to safety. Which I guess it's effective. 
mean uh, it has seven low slots you can slap three aura stabs and you can still have enough tank and speed if you like or dps and of course you can also slap some warp core optimizers but that kind of goes uh that kind of does not go with the main purpose of this ship uh, it, it does not have uh, you will not be using uh, its full shield resistance capabilities and this is one of those ships where i would say that it needs a bonus rework although feel free to disagree if i'm wrong at some point i'm more than happy to read your opinion and comments on this i would change the skill bonus on the rattlesnake and uh, replace the large drone only to all drones that way all drones will have a similar effect and a similar boost that way the rattlesnake will have a very good fighting chance against very quick and skilled pilots now that's uh, what I would personally uh, do with the rattlesnake hopefully that will be balanced because for example the nesto has bonuses on all drones and I believe there is one more ship that has uh, basically bonuses on all drones I kind of forgot its name at the moment but the Nestor uh, has bonuses on all drones, Dominix also has bonuses on all drones. So there is plenty of ships that have bonuses on basically all drones. So the Rattlesnake could have that as well. Would be very beneficial to, uh, to the overall ship because at the moment I really don't see how I would defend myself properly against a uh, very skilled frigate or cruiser pilots because the medium drones i believe my orcos can tank medium drones of a rattlesnake because it's only two medium drones they don't get any bonus so basically only two drones doing little damage to me i can tank prophecies five drones for some time without having to warp away and i usually fight a prophecy until hull 50 percent hull if if it goes uh, to that matter so yeah, the Rattlesnake doesn't quite get that uh, get, get that bonus right. It's only large drones. So that might be basically the only battleship ship that I would rework, at least the skills for it. Everything else on paper looks to be pretty good. It's very tanky, it has pretty good slots, it has basically uh, all you need. It's just that little bonus for large drones that's kind of, you know, going in my eye a little bit that need to be that should be changed i would change that so would make this ship a lot more playable and its use would be even more effective now i kind of forgot what the bonuses are on the rattlesnake on eve online i really i really kind of forgot i never flown that ship over there so uh, yeah that's basically the only issue that i had with this ship and here you could notice that the large drones had a problem shooting down the frigates they really had a problem to shoot down the frigates most frigates that i've shot in these missions uh, were destroyed by my rapid missiles because the drones just they miss or they just don't do a lot of damage it's a pirate frigate here imagine a player frigate the large drones just will never catch a rattlesnake and that's basically uh, one of the only things that prevent me from flying the ship actively in pve i still would say a striker is uh, cheaper striker is cheaper to replace it's uh, easier on your wallet and it clears encounters pretty quickly and of course, strikers have excellent defenses against basically any ship, including the Ortus. The only battleship that I kind of am nervous to tackle uh, are Apocalypse. They, they are scary, they can track. Apocalypse striker at 45 can track. The classic Apocalypse at that range can track without a problem. And I have a friend that is flying the Apocalypse striker as the main ship. And yes, his apocalypse kills anything, everything, it just deletes like 7.6 thousand DPS I believe in siege mode, something like that, ridiculous DPS. So, uh, and it can track, even interceptors, interceptors are not safe from that ship. 
If you fly anywhere close to that Apocalypse Striker, you're dead. There's just no way that... Uh, or or you have Warp Orb Stabs and you can just, you know, warp away, that also kind of works, but... One hit from a Striker and you need a new ship. So, uh, and also the capacitor on this ship, well, my guess was kind of correct. It did hold quite well, uh, not quite sure why the game tells me 9 minutes while I was actually cap stable, but I guess uh, I might have been just too good at the capacity management, I don't know. After flying the Orthos I became very, very skilled at maintaining my capacitor at an optimal rate, because the Orthos does not have a lot of capacitor to begin with. The, the capacitor on the Orthos is pretty damn bad if you ask me, that's why I have a capacitor battery. The mic warp drive does not help, because it actually reduces the capacitor even more, so a capacitor battery kinda a must to have on that ship. Well, um, the rattlesnake can easily still be used for basically anything that you want, but like I said, be very careful around pirates, be very very careful around small ships like cruisers, fast cruisers, fast frigates, interceptors, because unless you have like, I don't know, un unless you have someone at your side to help you, you will have a very bad day against uh, any pirate that uses fast ships, if you're only using large or sanitary drones. Now, I guess that's why people are using warp core stabs, and at this moment for, for this ship I really can't blame them, because there, is, there isn't basically any other defense against any other pirate that attacks you in a mission because you simply will not do a lot of damage to them. Even with target painters and full-on DPS, you, you lose tank. And an Orthos, well, you already have seen me blow up ships with the Orthos without a problem, even battleships, so... Even without tank, uh, the Rattlesnake can, you know... Uh, even without tank, the Rattlesnake is a very easy target. Even if you focus on full-on DPS, it's still an easy target, unless uh, the ship that jumps you is a battleship or battleship. Anything below that is big trouble. Well then, that was a sweet little run with Ralsnick. Uh, overall, I really hope that uh, this ship does get some form of change because it really needs some form of change to make it more usable and of course to make it safer to fly. With that being said, hope that you enjoyed. Stay safe, fly safe, and I'll see you next time.